Hi everyone, this is Orchid. So I'm in love with these console tables. And as you see, they are a little on the pricey side. And I have one in my foyer that I'm trying to update. I've been looking around my home at stuff that I can update, replace. So in this case, I am updating this. It's in my um, foyer. I've had it for quite some time. Some of you may remember Bombay. It was a popular store here in New York some years ago and they had gone out of business and I think they are now back online but they don't carry as much product as they used to. So I'm going to try and swing for one of these looks um, that I showed you earlier. It's a little beaten up. I don't mind painting it at all. I'm using this uh, sander deglosser to, instead of dry sanding. And um, uh, not my favorite, but fairly easy. I wasn't in the mood to take the sander out. It was finally a warm day here in New York. Very windy, so eventually I had to go back inside. Um, but I went through and deglossed it, basically taking off the sheen so the paint will adhere. I'm using the Rust-Oleum Metallic Paint Ultra Cover in silver. And I'm brushing this on. I want to have a rather textured look. Um, so I started brushing that on. But when I was done, I wasn't actually loving what I saw. I don't know if it was just the wind. It was really windy. It just wasn't looking as good as I wanted it to. So with the second coat, I decided to use my sponge roller and that turned out a little bit better, much better in a sense. I still had the textured look, but it was not as streaky as when I used the brush. Now, of course, I had all my windows open because this paint has a very strong odor. For the strips that I'm um, the strip that I'm gonna use on the front of the table, I picked this up at Home Depot. It was two and a half inches wide, and of course I painted that also. So with my painting done, one quart of paint. This is how much I had left, guys. I have more than uh, three quarters left. Now for the top, I picked up these 10 by 14 inch mirrors at the Dollar Tree. They, um, I only needed three. I tried in vain to cut them to fit the table exactly, to cut one of them. After breaking two, I gave up. So I basically have the middle one stacked on top of the, the, um, the other two at the end. Now for the rings, I picked these up on Esty. They were $34,599 and I also had to pay shipping for $5. Then I painted these gold, spray painting them, spray painted them, sorry, using the Rust-Oleum metallic gold paint. Then I glued those onto the strip I showed you earlier using my hot glue gun. Now I'm only putting this on the front of the table. The sides won't be seen. I don't want to marry this project. I don't want to be married to this project. So I am going to use Velcro and this is industrial strength Velcro. I probably got this from someone who had leftovers. I don't remember purchasing this, but I basically am going to glue that onto the front. Right here I was, I mistakenly, um, put it onto the um, the back of the table then I flipped it around and this is how it turned out guys now I know that there is a product out there that I could have bought the strips and just glue that on but um, I would have had to pay $36 included shipping for that and it was not the size the rings weren't the size I wanted um, but it's a great option too, I have to say. It's a really great option. But if you are a DIYer who is trying to be as thrifty as possible and at the same time get a great look, I think this is a um, good option too. I will 
I'll leave a list of all the products I purchased for this project below. Thanks for watching guys. Bye now.